I have a yard machine, lawnmower tractor, it's a seven speed, um, it's a 42 inch deck. I just pulled the carburetor off this thing, I realized I didn't film it, I was in a hurry, so I'll go back through and kind of go through what I did. Um, so you got one of these spindles, one of these things right here, and it's got a bolt hole on the end of it, a bolt hole here, a bolt hole there, and a bolt hole on this one, it's kind of stuck up underneath. Anyways, this piece and the other piece up here, there's bolts you can take off, they put back in. And then for these bolt holes, there's bolts right here that'll take off and then the whole the whole hood falls off if you want to go that route. The next thing to do, there's bolts in the front you need to undo, which mine are already undone. Um, so you just screw them out, they don't have to come all the way out. Then there's two bolts in the back, you do the same thing, you can unscrew them. Uh, and then the whole thing, the whole top pops off. Uh, I just dropped part of my filter. You gotta take the oil cap off so that it can slide out. I just take all this off, it's just easier so it's not falling all over the place. Then you just give us a couple little pulls and it pops off. And I would put your dipstick back into it. Um, this hose was connected on the underside, so here's the top part. It sits like this on the lawnmower. That's where the air intake is at. So you got to kind of wiggle this. You have to wiggle it back and forth when it's on there. Um, there will be screw two nuts, one on each side. You have to undo the nuts. Um, then you pull this air intake out. There will be a little red gasket that fits down inside of there. Don't lose that. Um, and there's two more bolts that hold it on so it won't, if I'm pulling on, it won't pull off. Um, so you gotta undo these other two bolts and undo your linkages. Make sure to take a picture or video. So this one's got one here. Then it's got, you can see, two other ones, a little one, a little teeny wire, and a big one. Um, undo those linkages and pull this off. There's a gasket that sits right here uh, that you can do. I was going to just clean mine. Uh, this was the old one. It, you can't even twist the, uh, you can't even twist either the throttle Things. One, this one barely turns, um, allowing the butterfly valves to open. But for 20 bucks off Amazon, I figured it was cheaper. If you want to clean the carb, it's not that hard. But you got to make sure to unplug the carburetor right here it's at the bottom of the solenoid carburetor. So I got cut off. You're gonna undo these two screws. Then the carburetor will be sitting like this. Um, this one has got it's filthy on the inside. Like I said. The valves don't even move, uh, so I didn't even bother with it. I figured it's gonna be more just in carb cleaner than it would be just buy a new one. The bowl is filthy and has cracking stuff in the bottom of it. You can clean it; it is possible, especially on this piece. There's not a whole lot of plastic. You just dipped it in, kind of like a bell. Um, this one, you're gonna have a couple different jets. You're gonna have to clean out. Um, there's your air intake. That's what it looks like. You got your gasket. Make sure not to lose this little black thing. You can see kind of weaving in and out of there. Um, and that's how you would clean it. Make sure to stick it back on right. Uh, and then that's how you clean out your carb.